in there now. Okay? So they're actually going to give you the final answer. They're going to give you the slope. And you've got to figure out what should this coordinate point be to give me a slope of 1. And what should this coordinate point or what should this r value be to get a slope of negative 2 sevenths? Okay? All right. So you're still going to set up slope. So who thinks they can set up the slope formula for me here on number or letter A? What would that look like? Okay, Kevin? Very good. Okay, so he subtracts his y's. Okay, again, doesn't matter. If you want to start with negative 2 and do negative 2 minus 8, that's fine. And then r minus 6, that's okay. Okay? And what we're going to do now is we're going to set it equal to the slope. Quentin, we're just working on our notes from uh, Friday, okay? We're finishing them off right now. Just sit right there. That's good. Okay? So then we're going to have a slope of 1. Okay? So now, how would I put 1 as a fraction? 1 over 1. Very good. So I'm going to set everything up as a fraction. Okay. Now, if we can clean stuff up, let's clean it up. So what is negative 8 minus negative 2? Huh? Yeah, did I just hear you. So plus, and then Caitlin says 10, which is right. So I have 10 over 6 minus r equals 1 over 1. Okay. All right, now, what do we do when we have a fraction equaling a fraction? How do we solve that? Good, really good. All right, so we're going to cross multiply, and we're going to take the 10 times the 1, and then we're going to take the 6 minus r times the 1. Okay, well, oh, 10 minus 1, that's pretty simple stuff there. We should get 10 equals. Now, we know that 1 times anything will be itself, okay? However, if this was a different number, like a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or something like that, we would technically need to distribute it, okay? So I have 1 times this, and technically I would be distributing it through. Now we know that the 1's not going to change the value at all, okay? But I just need to make sure that you understand that there will be other numbers out there, and you'll have to make sure you distribute it, okay? So I've got 10 equals 6 minus r. All right, so now we need to solve this equation. Okay, so what would I do first, Guadalupe? Good, subtract the 6. All right, so 10 minus 6 is 4 equals what? Negative R. Negative R, very good. Now, we just talked about this in class. How do we get rid of that negative, Caitlin? Good, divide by the negative 1. So we're going to end up with negative 4 equals R. And that will be my final answer. So what that's saying is, is if I plug negative 4 in up here and do slope, I should end up with a 1. Okay, yes ma'am. Okay, so you know how you did y1 minus y2? What if you would have done y2 minus y2? You should have got the same answer at the end. You, you would still get 4, 4? Yeah, you should still get a negative 4 at the end. So, because it'll just be backwards. Okay, so real quick. Um, you would have had... Negative 2 minus 8 mm -hmm. over r minus 6 equals 1 over 1, right? Yeah. Okay? So you would have got a negative 10 on top. You okay with that so far? Mm -hmm. So now when you cross multiply, negative 10 times 1 is negative 10. And 1 times the r minus 6 is just r minus 6. Are you okay with all mm -hmm. that? So now add the 6. Okay. And then we're still getting the negative. So it doesn't matter what order, okay. just as long as we keep it all lined up. Okay? Okay. So I want you to take a second, and I want you to try B on your own. Now, real quick, side note. This negative 2 over 7, I don't care if you put the negative with the 2 or with the 7, but you don't put it with both. Because if I have a negative or a negative, that's a positive. It's not the same thing. So put the negative on one or the other. Okay? I'm going to give you a few minutes here. I want you to try B on your own. Okay? 